find it, peeps? I have your tarot messages from the mat. So these are the cards that I will be pulling from. And I have my incense burning to keep the energy shield clear. It's my favorite nag. It's my favorite. Um, so let's get on with this message. So as always, oh, I wanted to show you, I'm wearing, um, <laughs> wearing a snowman. We had a snowstorm yesterday in New England, in New Hampshire. We had, I don't know um, how many inches, but at one point yesterday, you know, the lights were flickering, you know, cable in and out a little bit, um, but no big loss. And it just sounded like Mother Nature was beating my house up. Like, boom, 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 boom. It was kind of scary, but, you know, I always feel protected. So anyway, I have my um, snowman to celebrate the snow. We're gonna have a white Christmas. What more could you ask for? Well, there's a lot of things I could ask for, but I like simple things like, you know, a white Christmas. Maybe I'll invest in a real little, like, uh, a little low chair. I mean, I have low chairs, um, but they don't work as well as a block. Good old, cheap old yoga block. All right, let's do this. Let's ground our energy. Let's take several deep cleansing breaths. I wanna thank you guys for liking my videos. I have lots of friends and family, um, a few family members that uh, are following my YouTube, subscribing. I really appreciate that, you guys, because I really would like to build something in 2021. I have some creative ideas. And you liking my videos, I mean, the comments, sometimes the comments will be shut off. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I like the idea of not having comments. Um, but I think that that might make my videos less visible than others that do have comments. So I really just need to figure out how this YouTube world works. Um, maybe even like, I'm sure there's a seminar or a class that will show you all the ins and outs and how to build your YouTube channel. But in any case, if you watch this video and you're watching this video, would you mind just go ahead and just smash that like button for me? And uh, and don't and, and feel free to share the video if, if the message um, resonates with you, it might resonate with somebody else in a different way. Um, and if it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Um, just enjoy, enjoy the message. I like, I like the storytelling aspect of tarot. You know, people have many different ways of reaching out for support and things that can lift their spirits, you know, or things that can help them heal. Some people go to a therapist, some people go to the gym, some people go for a bike ride or climb a mountain. Um, some people like tarot readings. Some people like the angel cards. Um, but everybody has their has their thing, their their way of healing and escaping. Well, no, healing, escaping is, is not healing, but you know what I mean. So if you enjoy this, whether there's a message for you or not, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll with this message. First card popping out. We got the five. Let's see. Take a look at this. Yeah, five of swords. This is not the way you want to start, but um, you have to face your limitations. You know, this card is saying that, you know, you've kind of backed down because you bit, bit off more than you can chew. And who hasn't done that? I mean, you know, forgive yourself if, you've, if you're overburdened uh, because of, you know, you know, you have that fear of missing out and um you know you have or you have a lot of like golden egg opportunities and you don't yeah you don't want to miss out so you want to you want to do them all but you know what this is saying it's time for you to accept your limitations and that's not failure it's actually very smart to know like you know what this is bigger than what i can handle and i might need have I, I might have to phone a friend and say, hey, do you have the answer for this? Or, hey, can you take this off my hands? Or, hey, can I hire you for, you know, whatever, and you can help me out here? 
because you're going to need the help because you're ready to embark on a journey and it's passionate and it's creative and this is the ace of wands very big big fiery energy um you can't see the title up here because of the selfie light but that's not important what's important is the message and you're ready to embark on a journey and how can you do that so this is this is what's really causing some issues here if you're overburdened and if you're taking on more than you can chew you know your desire to get up and go on a new journey is is going to feel like this poor slob. <laughs> this is poor slob, man. You know, it's the Ten of Wands, and Ten is usually the number of completion, but again, like, geez. He looks almost as, well, in the swords, at least the person's just kind of sitting back going, hmm, let me look at, let me look at everything now. Let me reevaluate. Let me be honest with myself about what I can carry. Because this God here that is saying, you want all these swords? They're pretty damn heavy. Are you sure? And then here it's like, you've got all the other, a different kind of wand. You've got all these fire, fire sticks of creativity, of energy, of passion, and you're overburdened. So now you can't even move. Like your ship's there, the golden fleece is there. And yes, you've had some success, which is, can draw a lot to you and you wanna do everything. You want your hands in everything. And now, well, you created your own personal hell because of that. All is not lost. We're just saying, accept your limitations. What's crossing you, what's, what's really staring up the matters of you accepting your limitations is like, there's a journey you need to go on and you, and you can't do it. And you can't do it because you've got too many things going on, but you have hope. You have hope. You have hope. Let's see where this hope is going. If you're going to have hope, let it be in renewed faith. Let it be when you're feeling like this. Because this is coming through. This is like, I don't even know if you realize that you're, um, you know that expression when you're running on fumes, when your car's out of gas? <laughs> And it's on E and it's been on E for like 50 miles and you're like, I'm just running on fumes. To me, I'm getting the feeling that this being overburdened and you accepting your limitations, that actually the hope that you have is this is the fumes you're riding on now. Those are the fumes, the hopes and the fear of the star, what it represents, is what you're riding on. So that's a good thing because if you're riding on, look at you guys, I'm getting warm. If you watch these readings, like when I get into it, I start to sweat. And I used to think it was the onesie. It's not the onesie. You're riding on the fumes of hope, which I'm going to say is a good thing because, again, that means you believe in something that is bigger than you. Because you, ha you have to have that in life. And I'm gonna say that every, every opportunity that I have is that having something to lean on when you can't lean on your own is very, very important. And what's really important is, what, as, as the faith brings this in, this hope and renewed faith, is that it's something other than like a human being. Because people will fail you. People will fail you, and, and, and they'll fail you because of, not because of what you've done. They'll do it because of themselves and their karma and all that. But there will, there will be a time in your life where you have to surrender to something that you can't see, you can't touch. It's, it's the faith, is the, is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's your fuel. Riding on those, and you know what? If you're gonna test your faith, you know, there's a moment in your life where you're gonna say, Well, you know what? If this shit is really real, let me step into it and say, You got one chance to prove to, to inspire me that you're real. You can do that. I, but if you do, just make sure you, you have the guts and the backbone to test the universe. Universe, I've done that. I've I've been in my power where I'm like, if this is real, then I need you to step up and show me this, and then I'll never question it again. Is it immature? Possibly, but it worked. But I had to put my guts on the line. So be prepared for that. 
be prepared to like, actually, you've been learning how to control your rage. That's a beautiful thing. Because look at you, you've got your hands on the neck of this lion and um, you're, you're learning to control your ego and your temper. And that's, that's a tough lesson. So I don't know what you went through to have that lesson, but congratulations. Because if you can control your ego and your pride, if you can get that out of the way, if you can get that out of the way, then you can get you can go on ahead and get a whole lot further with your vision and your journey when you don't have your pride and your ego coming in the way or getting in the way. Let's see what else do we have here? You've learned you've learned that you're riding on your hope and your your faith. Yeah. So remember when I said put your guts on the line. Well, here's the Ace of Swords, and this is like huge, this is a big sword, and it's about conversation that'll be very uncomfortable. It's conflict that will lead to a stronger personality. That's good conflict. You know, there are people out there who like, you know, I've worked for people like that. Like, they don't rattle the chains of the people you work with. No conflict. You don't have no conflict. You can't solve anything. So... This is saying, this is the kind of communication that's going to, there's no avoiding it. It's a big one too, okay? There's conflict, but the conflict is going to be good conflict. It's going to be productive conflict. It's going to make you grow kind of conflict. This is coming in. Don't fight it. You know, if you're going to ride on the fumes of your faith, remember what I said. The advice that I put with that is you got to put your shit on the line. This is putting your shit on the line. The conflict. Yeah, and so we've got a very powerful female energy, uh, queen of pentacles. She's a, she's, she's the CEO. She's, knows how to, she's an entrepreneur. She, she, she's got the business, she's got the money. And you know what over here? She's got grapes. Mm. Grapes represent, you know, abundance. I love grapes. I eat grapes every day. Except I don't eat the, the dark grapes. I eat the green grapes. But in any case, she's um, she's badass. She's beautiful. She has her money. She can spoil you if she wants. She can do whatever she decides to do because she's earned it. And <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> it's an extension. I'm doing the Celtic cross, so the extension of somebody being overburdened. <laughs> Could it be this person? Too much? She too much? She's... So this is, you know, a little sneaky sneak. Sometimes this is the, the, the strategy. This is the Carter strategy. This is saying you're carrying your swords very carefully. And you're carrying the ones that you want to take with you. And you're being very diplomatic. You're learning how to, like, really... Um, Sort of play the political game, but there's a there's a teeny bit of sneakiness with this, and um, people are noticing this. And whether you know it or not, this is how people see you as as somebody who's a strategy person, somebody who knows how to plan things to their advantage. And I think you know, sometimes you're a little sneaky about it. If that's not the image that you don't want to portray then maybe this reading can be insightful for you to kind of look in the mirror and say, okay, well, that's not the image I want to project. Or maybe it is. Maybe you want people to know that you, you're not, you're a strategist that's not to be messed with because you know, you know how to run the show. You know how to do it. You know how to control things, I guess, to manipulate them into your advantage. And if you want that image, you got it. If you don't, well, you can do something about it. I don't know what you would do. I don't have. I'll get some clarification on that in a bit. In a minute. We've got two more of these, and then we'll get some clarifications to this lovely story of. No, too many. Sorry. Put that back in there and clear it. Got Christmas music. I put. I put up some lights outside of my little Charlie Brown tree. Um. Solar lights. 
I, I put them up too late so they didn't get to uh, charge up. Um, oh, wait a minute, now that I think about it. No, let me stay here. I'm thinking about my, my Christmas lights out there because the Christmas vibe is like, I don't even know why I have the Christmas vibe because Christmas is not like my favorite holiday at all. In fact, I am quite annoyed by Christmas. But for some reason, I'm just really in the spirit this year. When you hear, no, too many fell. All right, you guys. Bowser. Okay, another pile of cards fell out, so I really feel like they want me to read the four that fell out. Here we go. <laughs> can we get past this energy? At some point, can we get past this? <gasps> indecision like you can't you know you need to make a decision and you're just not doing it wow i do not receive that i'm putting this back in here there was another pile that i didn't even see but this is enough like <laughs> your hopes and your fears like you hope that you'll make the right decision but you fear that you're gonna make the wrong decision so you're in the pickle you're not moving anywhere oh Goodness, but you gotta make a move because now this is the Knight of Wands. You know, maybe impulsive, but when you've slain all the golden fleeces and you've had all the victories and you've pretty much won over everything and everyone, you get to the point where it's like you, you gotta make a move and go to, to, to bigger challenges because challenges are what makes us feel alive, right? Challenges help us to grow. If you're not growing, you're not living. So what good is it if you're in an, in an environment where you've conquered everything? So you just sit there like the emperor, looking at everything you conquered, doing nothing. This card is saying, it's time to do something. I gotta get out of my seat and do, do nothing and do something else because right now this is just too boring. It's like, I've, I, it's like too many wins. It's like if you win, you win, and you win, and you win. Well, when does it feel good to win like that? When does it feel good when you are in a space where you're the best, you're the greatest, and you get everything that you want? Eventually, you're going to want to go and be in a space where you can stay challenged and stretched so you can grow and that you stay out of boredom because somebody is bored and somebody is also fearful. What the heck? It's like you wanna make a move, but then the next card, like I pick up that you wanna make a move and then the next card I get is like, now you're stuck in your fears. Going nowhere. Where are you gonna go in your, your horse? Where are you gonna go with all this passion and, and energy if, if you're mentally in your own prison? God, I hate that. Look at this, detached king of swords. He's emotionally detached, very, very smart, um, very intellectual, very logical person. Um, maybe it's part of the problem. Maybe because you're, you're so overly, you know, like it has to make sense. Does it have to always make sense? Does it really have to make sense for you to make a move? Remember what I said about the night of, um, Wants is he's, he's impulsive. He's fast moving, but he's impulsive. And this this guy over here is like, well, I, I, well, I think this through. Let's 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 just let's this really doesn't make sense. And then the more you start thinking, you overthink. Then this happens. This is the result of overthinking. And then where are you gonna go? Wait, what decision are you gonna make? You're not. And you're trying to play. It smart and believe me people people see that they're not fooling people they see you they see you trying to be sneaky they see you trying to get out of something uncomfortable that's just going to be uncomfortable come on y'all it's the holidays it's time to like i know that yeah COVID 19 is still it's still the, 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 the saddest thing i think one of the saddest things um, that I've ever experienced in my life. 
in my life. But yet, at the same time, because of the changes, there are lots and lots of hidden blessings, lots of changes, lots of things that, that have made us all uncomfortable. So you can fall back and wait for the dust to clear sometime next year, maybe fall or something. Or you can find a way to get out of your head, face your fears and your limitations. This is going over the, um, the swords card. Obstacles. Oh. I put this over the swords here where you're having a hard time making a decision you're in your fears. You're, you're in your, you're, you're being detached, you're being overly logical. You're not allowing your emotions or your heart nowhere near any of your thinking. But that's exactly what this person is. He, this person is emotional. This person is, you know, fly by the seat of his pants. And he wants to do this, or she wants to do this. But you've got, like, obstacles in the way. Let's, something else. Let's get some clarification on the obstacles. Could be a lot of things. I mean, it could be anything so let's just see this felt like it's stuck <laughs> mm. Mm. if it's an obstacle karma's not always a bitch karma's a beautiful wonderful timely thing but if it's an obstacle, that's when karma is a bitch. So somebody, I'm gonna pull one more card. Your karma is up and that's okay. That's okay, it's like, it's time for you to pay the bill. It's time for you to pay the spiritual bill, right? Dark mail, it's time for you to pay. It's time for you to pay the price and how deep and how big it is. <laughs> Oh no, you know, you know, you, the one watching, whether you're a man or whether you're a female with the masculine energy, a lot of masculine energy, your karma's up, darling. I know it seems like it's, it is an obstacle to wherever you're trying to get to. Maybe this person is queen of, queen of pentacles. I don't see a lot of love here, honestly. Oh, and I do see some financial struggles. Um, I'm gonna get done. Let's get some clarification on the, um, oh, no. The, I'm gonna get some clarification on, maybe this is part of the obstacle. Cause I don't see love here at all, you guys. Like, I don't see, I see swords everywhere. Like, swords, karma. I. You know, this thing, this is what you're riding on. This is your best bet, actually. And maybe, 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 the karma is that your lesson will be, no, I don't, no, okay, and they're like, nope, 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 the karma's the karma. The karma over there is the karma over there. But I think the universe is giving you an opportunity to develop your faith muscles. Because how else are they gonna grow? if you don't have situations in life that'll, that'll test you. So that, that so far, that and learning the lesson on how to control your ego and your pride, because this will never help. Your ego and your pride, okay, you can take it with you and you can puff up your chest and walk through life and maybe you, 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 it's gotten you so far but staying in this energy will only take you so far. So good for you for learning how to let that go and good for you for stepping up to um, work on your face muscles. Everything else here is like you've taken on too much. You're overburdened. You have a decision to make. You have a very uncomfortable conversation that has to happen. I'm going to pull a card for um, some clarity on the taking up the challenge of the financial world. Self-esteem. 
So what I feel about this is that it does take a lot of self-esteem to go and take up the world and say, yeah, I can, I can survive. Not just survive, but I can thrive and I can live uh, an abundant life and a life that is on my terms, right? But let me tell you something. I'm getting clarification over this. So your self-esteem is actually going to carry you through this journey and, and help you to be successful. Or your lack of self-esteem is going to make this battle so much harder. Because when you lose your self-esteem, that's like losing, that's like losing, um, it's like losing money. If you lose faith in yourself to, to go and battle the material world, to play with your investments and your money, if you lose that sense of um, value in yourself, it'll, it'll be reflected in your life. And, then, and there's this blame game, right? So if something went wrong, if some kind of mismanagement happened, um, you know, there's the, there's the tendency to blame others rather than yourself. I accept responsibility for my well-being is what this card says. So you accept the responsibility for whatever it is that's, that's making you feel, who's, that's compromising your self-esteem. Or the flip side of this is that, actually, let me read what self-esteem says. I like to go by what I feel, but sometimes I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So maybe it is your self-esteem that is saying that you're ready to go and take this up because you do believe in yourself. But there's this blame game. And then the last one, health. I will honor my physical vessel um, and, and that, and I can't even see this, that enshrines my soul, health. What do I say about health? Health is your wealth. Health is your wealth. This is it. What good is a million dollars if you can't walk? So while you're battling the material world, I don't know. I don't know what you're after. But make this your priority and stop blaming others for, for mismanagement of things. And I hope that this is talking about high self-esteem. Let me see. I think I read this one already. Yeah. High self-esteem. Because if it's low, it'll affect this. It'll affect that. Let me see. We have the Queen of um, Pentacles, and, and she's kind of sitting out here in the middle of all of this, all the, the sword storm. And, <laughs> you guys, I can't make this shit up. <laughs> More swords. I'm gonna, I swear to God, I should take a picture of this. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, just more, more like in your head. More fears, more fears. More fears. You had the four and then you had the four and then you had the five. So it's like getting worse. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. Let me just, let me just, just so that you can see. Swords. The, 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 the being sneaky in the strategy, being diplomatic. You've got the indecision. You got to make a decision to a swords. Look at this one. They get the king who's just so in his freaking head. He's so logical, non-emotional. Sometimes you do need some emotions in there. Sometimes you need that in there. Now you're all consumed, all overwhelmed. Look at this. And you, but you can't even sleep. Oh my God. You can't sleep. You know, you know what that's going to do? You know what that's going to affect? This. You, you can't even, you can't think straight when you don't sleep. The brain doesn't function right. Look at this one. This is the ace of swords. The, the, the call for confrontation that'll, that's, that'll actually help you. And then accepting your limitations. That's a lot, man. No wonder why you want to fly. No wonder why you just want to just go. Like, this isn't even productive. This is like, I just want to get the fuck out of here. This is just too much. But you know what? 
You know what you gotta do though? You know what you gotta do? Tall, dark, and handsome. That obstacle is the very thing you need to face. So maybe that is the thing that maybe if you're maybe that's what the um just face it. You can't you can't avoid karma, so you, you just you just gotta go through it. And hey, you, hey, this is an opportunity to strengthen this. Believe me, this will get you so far in life. This will take you so far in life. Um I'm gonna leave this deck alone. No, I'm going to go back to here. I want um, something on the Queen of Pentacles. Because the Queen of Pentacles is a nice... She's, she's a nice lady. She's a rich lady. She's a money lady. She's smart with business. She's beautiful. She's badass. Yeah. And, um, you know, she's got her three of wands. She's got her one hand on this wand. They're not lit up yet, right? Most of the wands are on fire, but this one's not. Because she's, you know, she's like, you know what? I've had some, I've had some successes, and you know, she's, she's like, yeah, I've had, I've had a lot of successes. Uh, but I think she's looking to go on another journey, another success, financial opportunity journey. Let me see. Uh, so we get the three of wands. We've got the queen of pentacles. Another clarification on that. There we go. I'll miss you, America. Let's, let's sing Christmas songs. <laughs> we got to do something to uplift this whole reading. Really? Really? The eight, of, the eight of Swords? Really? You're all tied up? But the thing is, is like if you look at these robes, they're really not that tied. They're not that tight. Like you can take the blindfold off and get yourself out of that mess. It's like, you guys, I can't make this up. I'm asking for clarification. I'm getting more swords. I gotta say, I don't think I ever recall getting so many swords in one deck. Ah, I, I'm, I'm almost speechless. And y'all know, if you know me, you know I can talk. I can talk, I can go for three hours without stopping. I've done it, I've done it in my workshops. And right now I'm like this. And... <sighs> can we get something, like I just want, at this point, I would love a card to just, just the overall energy of the whole reading. Instead of clarification, I just want overall energy to fill out. I'm, I'm not, don't shoot the messenger. But you know when you get to the point in your life where I've, I've been there and uh, you have to have somebody in your life who can really help you laugh at your challenges. But it gets to a point in life where you're just like, there are so many challenges that it's funny. That you start to laugh at your challenges. You eat them like candy. That's what this situation is. This is so challenging that you have two options. You can continue spiraling down the, the, the path of all these swords and being stuck and, and endless nights with no rest, indecision, confusion, mental um, anguish and pain. Because when you have so much fear in your mind, you can bring pain into your body. The tower is here. The tower is making things, um, maybe that's why the swords are coming up because parts of your life, the structures that you've built are falling apart now and there's nothing you can do about it. Things are falling away. And you know, when you pray for things, that's why they say, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. And when you get it, the universe answers those prayers in the form of towers. And so whatever you've asked for in your life to whoever's tuning into this reading and that this resonates, whatever you've asked for, just understand that this tower is part of the answer. Have that 
faith in the things that you cannot see and the hope this tower is going to answer your prayers. In fact, most prayers, wishes, manifestation, most are often answered after something very difficult and sometimes groundbreaking. And the Queen of Wands. I, this is my divine feminine card. She's warm, look at, she's got, uh, this is the card of Leo, that's what I love about this. Look at the sun, I think that's a sunflower. She's got the black cat. She's, you know, she's, she's a little bit witchy, very intuitive, passion, like you don't ever come across every day. And she's on a throne, so she's in a rightful place. And I'm getting hot again. Woo! She's in a right place. So I don't know if after all of this, the, 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 Tower is bringing you this. If somebody's looking, and the Queen of Queen of Wands, I mean, this also could be, um, it could be divine masculine with feminine qualities. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's her, that that's the divine feminine. And I'm gonna ask for one more card because sometimes when the Queen of Wands comes out of the deck, so does the King. And I've had that happen so many times. Woohoo! It's a card that flew over. And this will be the last one on this deck. Well, it's the sun. <laughs> and I, didn't I say that the queen of wands was the sign of Leo? This is the sun. The sun is, th that's the sunflower. Okay, that's not a sunflower, but that's a sunflower. This is the card of Leo. But the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. Because this reading right here, this shit right here, I've never seen anything like this. It was like, bam, bam, swords, swords, more swords, more fears, more blocks, more obstacles, more karma, karma, karma. And, uh, but there was that face, that little bit of face that was in the back of the psyche that was really, you were, you were so inspired by or motivated by this face that you probably didn't even really know it. You just knew that you had to move forward and you probably don't even realize it, but it's something deep down that you believe in. If you're willing to put the king of swords down, because he doesn't like to think like that. He doesn't like to think like emotional. If, like, if, he, can't, if he can't prove it, it doesn't exist. You know, um, he's a scientist, this king of swords. Where, where is he? Yeah, logical, book smarts. You know, he doesn't want to believe in, you know, the faith of, substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. He doesn't get down like that, you know? But somehow, you're growing your faith muscles. See this? I'm sweating. This is powerful. So in the end, so in the end, <laughs> the brightest and the happiest, I can't think of a better way to end this reading with, with, with the divine feminine, one of the most unique, and then the sun. The happiness. So you know what I'm gonna do? Cause I'm not picking up any more tarot decks because um, I don't want to see any more swords, but I will pick a moon card to end this reading. What am I up at? 38 minutes, not bad. So there's hope in the end. Oh, that's, that's what that card represents, where is it? Oh, so I said there's hope in the end. So there's hope in the end. Behind the scenes, this card was placed in the behind the scenes part of your life. And in the end, the last two cards in the, in the journey were the two, one of the two, two, two beautiful, and they, they, they complemented each other with sun and wands, fire and fire. Show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. It's time to be like, authentic like a thousand percent and why would you want to live any other way life is short live it up and live it and let people see you you know the, the i just think when you're when you're authentic and you're you're being yourself you put on the energy that that people know people know that you're being real and people like that whether they don't like the way you wear your hair or how you talk 
or clothes you wear or what you do for work or your lifestyle. But if you are authentic and you bring that energy of, of being really you, people are going to respect that. People like people like that. And whether they know you're being true or not doesn't matter because guess what? When you vibe and people feel that, that's, the, that, that's real. That's the truth. You know, the truth to me carries an energy that's beyond just somebody saying the truth through words. Because when someone's lying to you, you know it. You know when they're lying to you because you can feel it. The truth has a higher vibration than lies. When you're hearing lies, that's like low vibration. You can feel a, you know that feeling like, oh, my stomach, something don't feel right. Like, like somebody just kicked me in the gut. Like that doesn't sound right. Because that's low vibe shit. That's low vibe communication. Um, but when it's the truth and you're living yourself and you're showing people who you are, that's high vibe shit. And people like that. Even if they don't really like you. Um, so I'm going to pick two more because, man, my um, solar plexus is on fire. I guess it must be all those sores. It's like starting, this reading was starting to scare me to tell you the truth. I was like, I gotta stop picking these cards because it's like, they're gonna think I'm making this stuff up. That's the beauty of um, doing these readings, uh, not necessarily live, but you know, I don't, I don't edit these. I just, I try to, I try to let people see the real me. That's why I said I want you to feel like when you tune into my readings that you're sitting right next to me by the fire on my mat and we're just having a conversation because, you know, we can't see each other face to face without our masks on, but we can virtually. I'm really looking forward to when, when we, when, anyway, let's stay here. I don't want to go into 2021 just yet. Work through your fears. Look at that, it says work through your fears. We already saw a whole lot of cards that indicated that you're all in your fears to a point where you can't sleep. I, mean, I feel so, I know what that feels like. And um, when I can't sleep, I work very, very hard to heal that part of me because rest is, it's not just, you know, for beauty, man. I need to rest so I, so I can be intuitive, so I can be creative, so I can be intelligent. So that I don't go falling down and bumping into walls. If you can't sleep, if you're so deep in your fears that you can't sleep, I hope that this reading will give you renewed hope that something good is, is a, that, that sunshine and flowers with, with, with the queen of wands, fire, passion, sensuality, wealth, intuition. She's got it all. You've got that coming. I mean, isn't that worth working on and stopping your life so you can get some rest? So that when, when, when this is upon you, you have the energy to enjoy it. You're gonna need it because going through the life challenges that you have, it's gonna feel like going through a marathon. <laughs> You're gonna need your queen of wands to, to take care of you, to nurse you back after that, that, the battle of the mind. It's like you're going to war and the war is the battle of the mind. You and your thoughts, you and your head. You're your own worst enemy. Last card. A win-win outcome, this forecast. Of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year and there's a win-win coming. So if you are in fear of having that confrontation, that has to happen through conversation. The confrontation through conversation. Just know that there'll be, it'll be a win-win. And in the end, in the end, you're going to realize that your fears, that the fears that we have, at least I'm going to speak about my fears when, I, when, when they 
when they rise every once in a while. I, I, I must, I will admit, I'm probably one of the most fearless people you'll ever meet. But when my fears do uh, come up and need to be healed, um, I always find that after I conquer those fears, that I sit back and I reflect like, wow, man, I have the dumbest fucking fears. Like, they're so stupid. Like, how can I let that keep me from, from moving and feeling free? You can create your own personal owl from your false evidence appearing real. But you, um, if you want that sun, you, you want the sun. You're going to go through it. It's going to be all right. You're going to be all right. I know this was heavy. Cause it's like, whoo. I'm like, I'm sweating underneath this. And, um, but I know that if you're watching and you're tuning in, you know, they say that your vibe creates your tribe. So I know that everybody that comes to this channel, whether it's two people or 20 or 200, that we're all it, have the same vibe. And let me tell you something about my vibe. Yes, I am a warrior. I'm a badass motherfucker. And I do have a lot of faith. I actually, my son calls me, um, he says I'm a daredevil because, um, yeah, I'm a little foolish. I will jump because my faith muscles are so strong. I'm telling you, one day I'm gonna write a book about the things that I have walked through, the fires that I had to walk through, and they came out with like muscles, like face muscles like you wouldn't believe. Like, I'm like Arnold Schwarzenegger muscles. And the more you develop those muscles, those obstacles, these things, they don't get in the way, they become part of the journey. These obstacles, they make you stronger, you know? So you kind of like, you kind of look for it after a while, like I'm like this, I'm like this guy. If, if I don't have a challenge in my life that makes me sweat a little bit, that helps me to grow, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll go out and I'll go find it. If it doesn't come to me, um, I'll go and find it. Um, so go ahead. Find that, whatever that obstacle is, face that obstacle, face your karma, have that difficult conversation, really um, do some uh, meditation, see if you can get to the source of your fears, what's behind your fears, because in the end, you're, you're going to have what appears to be the greatest thing ever because the greatest card in the deck came out in the end. I hope you had a beautiful day. I hope that you always do something fun and your faith muscles are growing. You're gonna have like a six pack abs of like faith muscles and I can't wait. If this resonates with you, um, if the comments are open, comment below or hit me up, uh, DM me and let me know if this resonated. I, I, um, it brings me joy to really help you in that way. So if it does help you, um, let me know. Uh, and you can also let me know by smashing that like button. When you hit the like button, um, you know, I'm giving this for free. So if you hit the like button, that's your, that's your payment. That's your, the gratitude is the currency of the universe. And I would really appreciate that. And I will see you, I'll see you next week, but you never know, I might pop in and do a reading um, sometime this week. If I don't, I'll see you next Sunday. Peace.